Step 1. Check power supply voltage. The default voltage is 220. Please adjust it according to your nation standard. Step 2. Check and adjust Z limit switch to the top. Step 3. Check the height of NAS support of Z axis. Make sure they are at the same level. Step 4. Initialize the printer. Choose Quick Settings and then choose Home All. Then shut down step motor. Choose quick settings and then choose disable stepper. Step 5. Check distance between nozzle and hotbed. Marked H. Meanwhile, lower the limit switch by 23 mm. Step 6. Initialize the printer. Choose Quick Settings and then choose Home All. Move extruder to the center.
The gap between nozzle and hot bed this time is about 2 mm. Step 7. Adjust the gap between nozzle and hot bed. Move nozzle to the corner. Use A4 paper to test if the gap is about 0.2 mm. To make it clear, we have removed the wind mouse. To make this happen, please loose the butterfly screw to adjust the gap to 0.2 mm. Step 8. Initialize the printer. Choose Quick Settings and then choose Home All. Step 9. Move extruder to the center. Use A4 paper to test the gap if it's not 0.2 mm. If not, you need to adjust the butterfly screw. Step 10. Initialize the printer. Choose Quick Settings and then choose Home All.
Step 11. Preparation before we get started. Install SD card on the main board. Press reset button on the main board. Step 12. Preheat. Choose quick settings and then choose preheat PLA. We choose PLA to test in the video. Step 13. Install filament. When the extruder temperature reaches 190 on the screen, stroke filament straight. Press briquetting. Put filament into extruder until the filament comes out from nozzle. Step 14. Start printing. Choose print file and then choose manual and then choose text file G-code. It will start to print a few minutes later. Thank you for watching.